Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video where today we are taking a look at three weapons, one being brand new and two being old, with one of them being new, because that sentence makes sense. Uh, but yeah, let's just see if one of them is more worthwhile to use than the others. So what are these weapons in particular? Well, the new one is of course the Auto Axe, the old one is the Shredder, and the old but new one is the Chainsaw, and they all perform a very similar role. Bit. Is one of them much better than the rest, or is it not that big of a difference? Also, I'm just looking at this from a general play perspective. Uh, each is getting, you know, an ideal legendary role, and they're all going to be anti armor and shall have a suitable build to keep things as fair as possible. Uh, main thing here that I'm looking at is, you know, if one of them really stands out from the others in a particular way. Or multiple ways but getting into things starting off with the shredder we have an anti-armor roll here 50 percent bashing damage shredder so very nice roll for a shredder and just a quick look at our build uh, i've taken off things like tenderizer and adrenaline so the damage isn't you know fluctuating around the place and we have the basher per card and stabilized for that heavy gun uh, armor piercing and then general things like bloody mess nerd rage which will be standard across all three with the main perks being the ones that uh, sort of swap in and out uh, also, I did chuck out a pole, and the Shredder came in last, and that is just a travesty. I know I'm recovering, I'm going to Shredder's Anonymous, but come on. So, with the Shredder, most everyone knows it at this point. No ammo, get yourself a vampires, and generally, you never have to worry about dying. Oh, no, don't have to worry about ammo. It's just massively quality of life, very powerful, and allows for a whole, you know, bunch of other perk cards, because you only generally need to worry about putting on Basher in strength, and thus you can use you know a lot of the other perk cards in strength since there are a lot of them compared to when you're using melee weapons that's where most of the melee perk cards sit so it's a much tougher juggling act there whereas you know you don't have to worry about that uh, for the heavy gunner perk cards for the shredder or you know lock and load and stuff like that just bash her there and you're good to go and yeah from the footage you can see the shredder just absolutely decimating these super mutants no issues at all i'll uh, chuck in some footage for bigger targets like the behemoth and death claws as well uh, i've soloed the bosses with the shredder it's just a really solid weapon, but is there something that makes it stand out compared to the chainsaw and auto axe? And yes, there's two things. One I've mentioned, and that is the freedom with the perk cards. And because you're also generally going to be rocking power armor build and other heavy weapon perks like stabilized, it's easy to sort of swap in a different heavy weapon if you need range or you just want to change up things quickly. So you can do that easily while you're using your shredder build. Uh, and the second is condition. I very rarely have to repair my shredder. Uh, this used to be a problem back in the day, but since that was fixed, uh, I don't really ever have to worry about having it break on me, and it lasts a long time, which is really, really nice, particularly in boss fights. Uh, now over to the other two, and we'll start with the chainsaw. Now the chainsaw, old but new. Also an anti-armor version here with 40% more attack power damage, so it's a great roll for it. And over to the build, very similar to the shredder, but this time we just have the slugger perks, and we have incisor for the armor pierce and makeshift warrior instead of gunsmith basically now the chainsaw was bugged forever nothing worked with it it was locked at level 20 couldn't be made legendary but of course this season that has all changed and yeah as you can see from the footage the chainsaw is ripping through these enemies no problem it is super strong and it is super fun to use and in terms of damage it does do more than the shredder and those numbers are larger as well to showcase that but that comes at the cost of you know having to juggle a bit more stuff in strength because that's where the majority of the melee per cards sit uh, and you know if you want to go all out on a melee build then you won't have room for some of the other cards that you might want to use uh, but i found even just incisor and you're pretty good to go with both the chainsaw and auto axe uh, but the second thing is the condition i don't know if it's just me but i've had to repair the chainsaw up to two times during a single boss fight uh, with advanced repair kits both against earl and scorch beast queen so for sustained damage against your bigger enemies like bosses condition at least from what i've seen and let me know if you've experienced something similar it goes down really quick uh, just in regular use with you know your short bursts of damage against regular enemies it lasts a long time but still way way shorter of a lifespan than the shredder has but it is very powerful very fun and fits you know perfect for melee focused builds out there can pick up chainsaws around the map i'll link a video if you're interested in those locations and you can buy some mods from train station vendors also pretty easily now last but not least the auto axe the new kit on the block very similar to the chainsaw also have an anti-armor 40 percent power attack damage roll here and the exact same build as that chainsaw one so nothing has changed there it is also a two-handed 
melee weapon and very similar to the chainsaw powerful of course the difference uh yeah you have to unlock it via the scoreboard and you have to buy the mods with stamps from expedition so you do need to do a little bit of work to get it in the beginning and it's also non-tradable whereas the chainsaw and the shredder are both tradable and more easily found uh, so that's another bonus to those two over the auto axe uh, but in terms of the damage it's very very similar to the shredder uh, not that much big of a deal between them chainsaw i can definitely tell there's more but between the shredder and the auto axe very much on par with each other uh, in terms of the ap usage for all three it all feels pretty similar so not a massive difference there between them in general play and in terms of its condition it is similar to the chainsaw but i do feel like it is a little bit better and then of course that damage is on par with the uh shredder but yeah all three great choices and depending on what you're currently rocking and more importantly uh, the luck you have with RNG and getting the role you want, I'd say is going to play a big part in what you choose. You might get the role you want on the chainsaw first time, and the shredder, you know, you still might be rolling for that perfect role. So that is the big consideration uh, and factor to sort of look at how your RNG is going to be. And again, if you want a bit more flexibility and condition, then definitely go for shredder. Uh, if you want more damage out of it, then chainsaw is the go. Uh, auto axe, also just a very, very good choice. But hey, hopefully you enjoyed and if you made it this far, then I'm guessing you enjoyed at least a little bit. So consider liking and subscribing and sticking around for more Fallout content. As always, massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.